find the area of the parallelogram whose vertices are negative 1, minus 3, 3, 4, 6, negative 7, and 10, 0. So the first thing that we want to note here is that none of these vertices are occurring at the 0 at vector or at the origin. So in order to find the area of this parallelogram using our determinant, we need to translate the parallelogram to have one vertice at the or origin. And so to do that, we just want to pick one of these vertices and subtract it from the others. So we choose one vertice to shift to the origin and then subtract from the others. your favorite vertice and shift accordingly. So we'll just start with our first point here. So we're taking the first vertice minus 1 minus 3 and we're subtracting it from itself to give us a vertice at the origin. And we're going to do the same thing now with the remaining vertices. So we have the vertice 3, 4, minus, minus 1, minus 3, which leaves us with 4, 7. We have 6, negative 7, minus, minus 1, minus 3, which leaves us with, so we have 6 plus 1 is 7, and minus 7 plus 3 gives us minus 4. And then last but not least, we have 10, 0 minus minus 1 minus 3 so 10 plus 1 gives us 11 and 0 plus 3 is 3. So these are our new vertices and we're ready to set up our matrix. So we'll start with our geometric interpretation. So here is our x sub 2 axis here is our x sub 1 axis, and we'll say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So doing a 2 by 2 scale for x, and then the same thing for y. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, so we have one vertice at the origin. We have another vertice at 4, 7. So somewhere up here. We then have a vertice at 7 negative 4, whoops, so we'll have to shift this down. So we have minus 2, minus 4. So a vertice at 7, negative 4, right about here. And then last but not least, we have 11, 3. So in connecting our vertices, we can see our parallelogram. And obviously, using graphing paper will provide you with a slightly more accurate sketch. But we get the idea. We can say here is the parallelogram that we want to find the area of. And we can see the column vectors that will define our matrix. So we can say matrix A is defined as 7, negative 4, 4, 7. And so we're ready to compute the determinant to find the area. So we have we have that the area by our theorem is equal to the absolute value of the determinant of a. So this will be 7 times 7 is 49 minus a minus 16, so plus 16, which leaves us with 65. We should say 65 square units. And this is our beautiful final answer.